These mixed vegetable frozen packages are my favorite veggies to dehydrate. They're small, they go fast, and they're very versatile. This one pound package of peas, carrots, corn, and beans was 99 cents at Grocery Outlet. They do have frozen uh, small scale vegetables at Dollar Tree also. When I was last there, they just had peas and carrots. And I'm not sure if that was a pound or, or what it was, but this is what I have. Now, if there's a veggie you don't like here, or you want more of something else, then you don't need to buy the mixed veggies. Uh, you can just buy packages of corn or peas or carrots or beans or whatever else you like and, and create your own. But I do like this convenience. I've opened the package and I'm just going to go ahead and distribute. I had two racks out here. I think one might be enough and I might make two racks out of this. Anyway, one, two, whatever you feel is right. I'm going to go ahead and make two and then I'll put the lid on and uh, start the dehydrating process. I just went ahead and separated them into two racks and I think that's a, a better look. I'm going to go ahead and get the lid and get started. So everyone's dehydrator is different and this is actually the first dehydrator I've ever had that actually has controls and um, temperatures I've always have had that was kind of one size fits all. I got this on Facebook Marketplace for $25, real happy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on to it looks like 135 where it's already at and get it started and check it back, check back in a Here few they hours. they are, looking quite different. <laughs> they shrunk up quite a bit. I tried a couple pieces and they're quite crunchy. I usually don't try anything until it's completely cooled down from the dehydrator. Now what I'm going to do just to be on the safe side is I'm going to put them into a glass container or some sort of clear container and let them stay there with the lid on for 24 hours. If there's no condensation, then I know they're completely dried. If there is condensation inside the container, put them back on the dehydrator. So let's go and see how I use these in my um, rice scraper with rice. All right, so this is how I use my uh, dried little veggies in the rice cooker. First of all, I prepare the rice cooker. Everyone does this differently. I like to add a little bit of olive oil. Sometimes I season my rice heavily before I, um, I cook it, but sometimes I just put like a little bit of bouillon in there just for some flavor. I like this. Uh, I think this is, I'm not sure who this is. I think this is Food for Less or, or someplace it's their house brand. So I'm just going to put a heaping teaspoon in there. A teaspoon and a half. I don't want a lot of rice. I'm going to put half a cup of rice in and a cup of water. You just make your rice the regular way. Usually it's two to one unless it's um, you know, brown rice. Let me put this label out. Okay, there's my half a cup of rice, and I'm going to go ahead and put a cup of water in there too. Now for the vegetables, I usually put in um, half of what the amount of rice. So if I put in like a cup of rice, I'll put in half a cup of veggies. In this case, I've put in half a cup of um, of rice. I'm going to put a quarter of a cup of veggies. Uh, that's a good um, proportion for me. You might feel differently, but that, that works for me. Now, because we've added more dry items to the... Um, to the pot here, we're going to need more water because there's not going to be enough water to rehydrate this, to rehydrate this, and to do the rice. So whatever the amount of vegetables I put in, I'm going to put the same amount of uh, of water in a one to one basis. So I'm going to put a quarter cup of water. Just to compensate. And if you want, you can mix that up and blend it a little bit before closing the top. I have this great like silicone covered whisk that I got at Dollar Tree. It's great for things like this that have like a non-stick. I don't know how non-stick this is anymore, but anyway, you know, just blend it a little bit. And like I said, I've added lemon powder and you know that Greek seasonings and all sorts of stuff to um, to this, and it's always good. But I'm just going to keep it simple this time. All right, everything is blended. I'm going to close it up and turn it on and we'll check it out when the uh, rice cooker is done. 
All right, the uh, rice cooker just finished and I opened it up. Here it is. Everything looks well plumped up. I'm going to take a spoon in a second and fluff the rice up and you can see the proportion of rice to vegetables. So here's what it looks like all fluffed up. You can see the proportion of uh, two parts rice to one part vegetable. I like this proportion. I also like the bouillon I put it in the olive oil. It gave it kind of a nice flavor. And the vegetables are done just fine. I just took a spoon and tried and consistency is fine. Again, those are things you might want to play with a little bit. I only can speak for myself. So that's how I use my dried small scale vegetables in the rice cooker. Thank you so much for watching.